What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so uh, as always, consult your manual and a, a certified electrician. I am not an electrician, so my videos are for educational purposes only. Anyways, let's get to it. Actually, I'm going to be having it come out the bottom underneath the cabinet over here into the side. And I ordered a 50 amp breaker to go right here for my uh, generator because it's a uh, 50 amp generator. But uh, yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I got the connectors put in. Um, now I got to cut some wire and also some pieces of conduit and uh, start plumbing that. This one is going to be loads out and this one is this dotted line that goes across to the sub panel that's sh it's going to be down there rather um yeah so let me cut some wire and get the conduit and i will be right back all right got one in um take your time um for now i'm just going to leave the wire like this i pulled up so i have a little bit of extra past where it would be going into the breaker here um and then this one which was will be generator um, I got going all the way down and we'll be connecting to the two hots and the neutral here. And then we got our ground over there. All right. Just take your time with this. Bending all this stuff. Uh, you know, I've got the, all the conduit sitting out in the sun, so it'll be a little more malleable. But um, so I'm pulling the wire past where I'm going to need it. So I got a little extra once I uh, pull the sheathing back. Um, and then this is generator and I'm going to have generator be down. So I got this going down and looped up. So I have more than enough to connect to all the spots. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Cause then I'll come back and put the ferrules on the ends whenever I do all of the wires. Okay. Got my sub panel here. It's about to go on the wall right there where it says SP. Um, okay. So I decided not to drill into the case. I just, I'm going to use an elbow, come in, go to probably the bottom breaker and the top one will go to the top breaker, um, neutral bar and then ground. Um, I also have uh pure copper wire right there in that bag, which I will come off of to the outside for that uh, copper rod right there for grounding. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and get that mounted on the wall. I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. All right, it's kind of starting to look like I'm getting some stuff done. Um, I just went and got another one of the batteries. So I have that one there and I've got one sitting over there that are fully charged. We're charging the last one. All right, and this is the sub panel mounted. Um, so this is positive and negative battery cables that go to the inverter. Um, this will be the power from inverter one. That's going to, that's going to be inverter two, I think. I don't know, but, uh, power from inverter one or two, and then power from the other inverter. All right. And, um, the power will come out past this 100 amp breaker here. Um, the wire coming f out to my power pole is four gauge, uh, four strand, and I'm, I'm just going to elbow it out, run it straight across over here to the wall somewhere where this will be on the outside, but this will be on the inside. So if you can just imagine a piece of hose connecting these two, and this is on the wall over here, this is outside. This will go straight down into the ground and to the power pole. All right. Um, and I got this one sitting here because this one goes in the inverter to connect these two. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to go have lunch. I'll be back. Well, I ended up <laughs> taking all the batteries out again anyway. And uh, I disconnected this battery cable here. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit longer just so that I know for sure that I can make the wires get to the other side because I realized I had a little bit of extra slack over here. So I'm gonna redo that one. Um, I did go ahead and connect, I don't know what the hell that was. I did go ahead and connect the ground and I brought it out the back of the case over there into the sub panel 
and on the ground bar here. From here, I will run more of the wire to the grounding rod, and then we'll be good to go on the grounds. Um, all right, I'm gonna go get the last battery and inverter, and I will be back. All right. Since I went down there and got that into their inverter, I was able to get the other cables and I went ahead and I ran those. So there's the second negative and then the second positive coming out the side, ready to go up to that there inverter. Um, note worthy, the feet on these, they have a little spinny to make it uh, where it won't roll around. So I have all of those set to where the rubber stopper is down and this will not roll around anymore. All right, um, like I said before, ground's done, everything's done. I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking all the batteries in here because I need that step stool to install that inverter. So let me throw the batteries in here and uh, I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, we got all the batteries stuck in there. Now, I know I said I did the feet to where the stoppers are down, but I am also, the kit comes with bolts for both sides of the batteries to make sure that, you know, no matter what, they just won't come out of the rack. So I'm going to install those real quick Whew. and I'll be back. All right. So we got them all tightened in both sides, torqued down. Um, like I said, again, these are torqued down. Now here's a little trick. Um, you may know this, you may not, but, um, Get you like some kind of a marker. I'm just going to use black, but if it helped you much, if it would help you better, get like a green one or something. And whenever you torque one of these down, put a mark on it so that you know that they're torqued down. And then before all of this gets turned on, you need to go around and make sure there's no loose connections. Loose connections are bad. So anyways, that's a good little way to keep track of what you have torqued down. Anyway, uh, so now we're going to be connecting, um, the power wires that came with the inverter, uh, positive to the positive bus bar and negative to the negative bus bar. And we'll be torquing those down as well. Uh, the values are in the book. I'm not telling you what they are because I want you to look at the manual. It is a wealth of knowledge. All right, I'll be back. Okay. As you can see, we went and got the other inverter. We mounted it. Um, I went ahead and ran the conduit for the uh, positive and negative from the battery bank. Not Nothing's on, obviously. But, um, yeah. So, right now, I'm working on a conduit line between the inverters for that communication cable right there. Or, actually, that's not the one that goes there. It's a gray one. There it is. The gray one. The orange one goes from the battery to whatever inverter is going to be inverter number one. I haven't decided which one's going to be number one yet, but uh, once I do, then I will run another half inch conduit line from the inverter, I mean, from the battery box to whichever inverter I choose. All right, so for the communication cable, you want your, uh, your uh, dip switches for your first and last inverter up on right so i've only got two inverters that's the first and the last so we would parallel it via the left port to the back port so we got left port dip switches dip switches on second port Nice and pushed in. Both of those dip switches up. So the communications portion is uh, between the inverters is done. Now I got to start working on the communication to the battery, and I don't really know which one I want to do yet. Hmm. I'll figure it out, and when I come back, you all will see. I'll be back. Okay. So from where we left off, I went ahead and added the. Uh, conduit line all the way over to my uh, sub panel. I got the one for this inverter as well. I got the wire ran. I just don't have them uh, connected yet. Got to uh, 
get all that sheathing back in, put ferrules on the ends and stuff. But I'll do all that at the same time. <laughs> 